I hope you guys are having a great day. For me, I'm having a really good day. It is so hot out here. You guys know I don't really like it so hot, but it is hot. And it's one of those days. But today I'm out and I am getting my yard together. You guys know I had a whole bunch of plants up here by my house that were, I mean, they grew up pretty fast in these big old pots that I have right here. Believe it or not, that's a lime. Even though it looks like, oh my goodness, it's dead. It's really not dead. It just lost all of its leaves. And believe it or not, the leaves are actually coming back on there. So that's actually um, a lime uh, bush tree. Uh, and then I have my lemon. I don't know if you guys remember, but my lemon tree had lost all of its leaves. Now it's back. And so I'm gonna be taking it, when winter comes, I'm gonna be taking it back in my house. And I think I'm gonna put it in the bathroom where it can kind of stay warm because other than that you're gonna lose all the leaves again and so I want to be able to get some lemons off of it and it is my lemon tree so I'm happy about that and then here are some hot peppers those are some hot peppers but I'm gonna tell you the only person that want those is, is one of my children he wanted and he likes it um, a whole lot he actually likes to grow them every single year now here's my loofah it's still in the in the um, pot because I'm trying to give it an opportunity to kind of grow up and um, just do well. It's actually doing pretty good because it actually died three times. And so I had to actually put more um, seeds into the pot because the wind, I mean, believe it or not, I like it when it's cold. I really like it when it's cold. But um, it, um, it died because the weather kept going up down up down it was hot cold hot cold um all the time and then there were some times that it got really cold and i wasn't able to keep the loofah because i probably should have brought the loofah in my house but instead i left them all at back at my door <laughs> so then i thought that the weather wasn't going to kill them but they kept killing them so i had to put three more leaves in and so believe it or not i lost a whole lot of stuff i actually lost some of my watermelon um i actually lost the watermelon i put it like that but then I came out and I planted some more and so I got some more leaves up I said leaves some more watermelon believe it or not this is a watermelon right there I put it in the ground on this particular one just to see what would happen with it being on the ground see if my watermelon would get a lot bigger to see because before I had it in my um, my raised garden and so I decided to put it in the ground this time and so my husband put all this stuff around to just just to kind of protect it so we shall see what's gonna happen to that and believe it or not when you see those everybody's gonna want one everybody's gonna want one because it is like so good and co here it is believe it or not I grew this one this one is a blueberry I finally got a blueberry out here and with me having a blueberry um, that's like gonna be the best for me because y'all know they have put me at a type 2 diabetic but I'm actually coming out of it because I have been exercising a whole lot and my my levels have gone down considerably I'm sometime at 79 80 100 because I think you're supposed to be at one no at 80 to like 83 then no 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 80 to 130 and so so far since I've been doing all my exercise and everything I actually been getting better so I, I'm growing this blueberry, this blackberry uh, bush right here that I actually have been growing from, in a, in, believe it or not, in a pot. I put it in a big pot just to kind of get it out. And then this one right here I actually bought from the store just to see the difference. And it hasn't um, grown up as, it, well, it, it has gotten taller, but it ha doesn't have a whole lot of um, leaves and stuff on it as of yet. So I want to see if it's going to fit in with this particular one right here because that's the one I grew. So it's it's actually looking pretty good, guys. I like it. They both blackberry. So I like the blackberry. Now let me go over here to my blueberry real fast. Here's a blueberry. I just put this one in this year. Uh, once again, the blueberries actually help you to uh, keep your sugar level down as well. Um, a lot of people don't want to eat them because they think, oh man, they're not so good. But sometimes they can be very nice and sweet and sometimes they can be bitter. Now this is one that I've had for, I want to say I've had for two years. And as you can see, it has gotten really big. It's another blueberry. So this one is going to go in with that one. 
So I have my blueberries and my blackberries and I've been out here watering, watering them because I'm telling you, I really want a whole lot. Now, I'm gonna take you guys out here for like by the yard for just a minute, just because I'm telling you, I was like excited last year about my grapes, but this year I'm telling you, look at that. It is so many of them. Like we are gonna actually put up some more poles to kind of stretch it out and everything like that. But it is wonderful. And let me, let me just go over here. I'm telling you, this has been a blessing. And um, I believe it or not, when you have diabetes, you're not supposed to eat um, grapes. Well, you can have like a couple of them, but you're not supposed to eat, eat them. But I figure like this, I'm growing a whole bunch of them, you see? These are a whole bunch of them that are actually growing out here. It's a lot, if you can see the bush. Oh my goodness, this grape, this grapevine is huge. See all the, all the grapes? Oh my goodness, I can't wait to eat these because these are gonna be really good. This is actually better than um, last year because you guys know what I did last year. Because I told you, I made a mistake and spray some stuff on it. So it kind of messed them up. But this year, oh my goodness. Look at this, guys. This is wonderful. These are so these are so nice and big so far already. But we're waiting for them to really get big. They told us that we have to stretch them out in order to really get some really nice and big ones out of here. And I am like so happy because I'm going to tell you, I do not put pesticides I don't put anything like that on I just let these grapes grow and do their thing because I don't want to be sick and anybody that's coming over I know you don't want to be sick either so why would I put pesticides on it I don't put any pesticides on it and see how nice and green that they are coming they're becoming really 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 nice and I'm bending over getting under here Guys, it's a lot, lots of them. So anybody, once they grow up and you want some, you know you are welcome to come and get some because I am not stingy at all. I like sharing, especially with um, anybody that wants some. Just let me know. So then that way I can, um, I can uh, fix you up and, uh, and you can enjoy yourself. And they're gonna be so good. Okay guys, here is, something that has been growing through the weather and i'm telling you all this through the weather has been very very nice but some of the stuff that actually died and i had to redo is just what it is the weather just kind of took over we were having some really cold cold weather like i said before that cold weather is fantastic for me but some people like it hot. Me, I like it. And then, you know, the fruits and vegetables, they, they want it nice and warm. Now, they, don't, they always say, watermelon needs a whole lot of um, sun. And I keep telling you guys, it really doesn't. It needs the sun, but it needs a little bit of shade. But I'm gonna show you this one first because I'm so excited about it. Here you go. I don't know if you, you guys can see that. That's my zucchini. And look how big it has gotten. It has gotten pretty big. Now I have some birds that then did their little thing over here, but I want to try to show you. I got at least 10 of them inside of there, but I don't know if you can really see that one right there. But um, it's so many of them that's actually in here that I'm gonna be able to pull out. And I'm telling you, I'm gonna cut them and I'm gonna put them in the, in the freezer because I wanna be able to save them this time. Last time I lost a few because I wasn't cooking them fast enough. But here's another one. That's another one, guys. That's another one. Okay, so let me take you over here to my tomatoes, my tomatoes. Believe it or not, I'm, I grew this one myself. Um, I, no one helped me or anything like that. Most of the time I do all these things by myself. But here's my tomato plant. And here's another one. There are two different types of tomatoes. They are, I'm not gonna tell you, just because I wanna keep them a secret for a minute. but. They are two different types. Now this one right here that's growing so big that I actually grew, I'm growing it in this big pot right here. But look at it under there. Look at that. Look at those, uh, those uh, tomatoes under there. 
It's lots of them. Tomatoes. And it smells so good. It smells like a tomato. It smells like a tomato plant. Guys, it is like that is like so wonderful um, to be able to get the smell from it. Because sometimes when you go to the store and you buy a tomato, you're expecting for the tomato to smell like a tomato or what have you. But this particular one, it smells just like a tomato. I don't have any pesticides on it, none of that. I've been praying to God, <laughs> asking God to make sure that these plants come out well. Because anybody, like I said, if, if, if they're done, I'm going to post it up. And I'm going to say, come on over. Come get it. You know, and here's another one right here. I don't know if you can see it or not. Let me, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. It. Oh, can you see it? There it is. There's a tomato. It's growing on there. And this one is wonderful. It's smelling like a tomato as well. Okay, guys. One more thing. There's actually more, but I'm going to show you this. <laughs> Just because y'all know that I kill bees every year. But this year... I prayed and I asked God to help me out with the, with these cucumbers and so far so good. Here they go. Here are the cucumbers. They are not mixed with anything else to turn them uh, yellow. They are by themselves. This is it. Both of these. Both. And they're all what you need. Like I just came in here and put some water on them because they were starting to droop from yesterday. Believe it or not. It's so hot here that it sucks up all the water out of the out of the um, out of the plants like so fast so you have to you have to like water them every single day pretty much like in the morning and in the evening and then that way you have some nice 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 watermelon and, I mean not white watermelon but cucumber and believe it or not I got a lot of cucumbers that are actually growing on here right now that I'm so excited and so I'm looking forward to and getting me some nice cucumbers off and be able to have them in my salad. So I'm just so excited. Okay, guys, two more things. Here we go. Now, these are two squash. This this is the yellow squash. These are crookneck this year. I got I put in the crookneck because I wanted to do something different. And believe it or not, I am going to use these to... Um, and I say use them, I'm going to use them in, in, my, in, my, in my pot to cook them and all that good stuff. And I'm going to put them in the freezer because I'm not going to lose them this year. I'm going to put them in the freezer and then I'm able to cook them whenever I want to. Now, here we go, guys. Here's my other watermelon. I put them in the raised garden again. These Just these two. Here's one and here's one. Now, believe it or not, they're the same type of watermelon. This, these are the ones, I can't think of the name of them right now. I want to call them gray. That they're the big ones that are circular and they're, um, and the whole outside of the shell is green, green. You may have a few little specks, but most of it is green. And I said, I'm going to try that this year. And you guys know, anybody that want to come over, you can come and get it. But as you can see, these are not drying out like the one in the ground. Because they're in the raised garden. So I'm going to see how... I'm gonna see how these are gonna grow compared to the other one that I put over on the other side. I'm gonna see how they're gonna grow. But as you guys see so far, with me losing um, some of my losing my watermelon, I shouldn't say some of my watermelon, but some of my but my watermelon, I lost it because of the weather. And so now I put some more out. They've been out here probably five weeks now. So this is a five weeker. So I probably will not get watermelon until August this time. Last time I got some in June, July, because I had them out early because it was nice and sunny and all that kind of stuff. But this time I won't get them until June, June I said June, but it, it's more like June, July, August. But so August probably will be the better one when it's really nice and big. So you'll be able to get that. So guys, that's my, my garden so far. I did have some green peppers out here, but I'm going to tell you, the green peppers uh, got killed by the frost. Um, I had, believe it or not, I had everything out right on time, but we had a lot of bad, bad weather um, for them. I'll put it like that because it wasn't, it wasn't bad for me, but it was bad for, um, for the, um, the vegetables and the fruit and stuff like that. And so 
I'm just hoping and praying that everything's gonna turn out good. I got my blackberries, my blueberries. Let me show you my corn. My corn right now is starting to come up. This is the corn. It should have been up a little bit higher, but it's what it is, it's coming. I got about four stalks over here and I got about four over there. So, but as you can tell, I like this side a lot, <laughs> a lot better. So I kind of look at this side a lot better. And so since I've been putting water on that, that watermelon now is starting to, the leaves are starting back to fill back out. But before when I came out here, when I came from work, um, they were droopy because believe it or not, it's so hot. It's so hot out here. So here we go. I want to tell you guys, thank you for listening to me and enjoying all this uh, time with me when it comes to my flowers and my plants and all my veggies and, and fruit. So come back and see me, okay? You guys have a wonderful day and you take care. Bye-bye.